Hey guys, I'm Brian. Um, I had really hoped to avoid doing a video on this topic, but it seems so many people in the aviation community come to me as the voice of reason for things that are happening in aviation. Um, the pressure was just too much, so I decided I would go ahead and make this video talking about the situation with Trent Palmer and the FAA. Um, so I'll give you a little background just in case you don't know what's going on. Uh, this is Trent Palmer. He's the son of famed golfer Arnold Palmer. Uh, he runs a YouTube channel and a flight school called Angel of Attack. Um, on his channel and in his school, he teaches people how to do backcountry flying in his kit fox. It's similar to the one pictured here. So why are we talking about Trent and his running with the FAA today? Let me give you some information. Trent has a friend that owns a piece of land and he invited Trent to come land on it. Um, actually what it was, was the south shore of this body of water called Emerson Lake. And Palmer knows that before you land on an unimproved surface, you wanna make one, two, sometimes three inspection passes to make sure you're not gonna hit a cactus or a kid or, or really anything else. In fact, the FAA actually recommends that you make three inspection passes. Let's talk a little bit about that. If you don't know who I am, my name is Brian, I'm a Comanche pilot. And just to clarify, I'm not Native American, I fly an airplane called a Comanche. It was actually named after the tribe that discovered tit tanks. Um, and even in my Comanche, if we go land on an unimproved surface, we always start with an inspection pass. And the reason we do this is you want to make sure that you're able to get a really good look at the surface and see if there's anything that's going to be a problem for you on the ground before you decide to commit to a landing. And that's all that Trent was doing. Trent went over to his friend's land and he decided to do this inspection pass and he actually did three of them. Unfortunately, Becky next door got really upset when he was doing his inspection passes and she started filming and she sent the video footage to the FAA. A lot of people on social media are upset asking to see this video footage. Trent seems to be you know, a stand-up guy. He's not gonna make stuff up. Um, I happen to know where Becky lives. So I went to her house and said, I'm Brian with the FAA and Becky's not real sharp. So she's like, oh, okay. Um, I said, I'm going to need to see this video footage. So if you could just give it to me on a thumb drive. I didn't even say it before I said thumb drive. She was already handing it to me. I have the actual footage of Trent's three inspection passes that he did <clears throat> over the lake. I'm going to show them to you right now. So this is his kit fox. The footage is a little bit grainy, um, but it, my understanding is it was cell phone video of a TV screen from a surveillance video, but I'm gonna show you who he actually does the three inspection passes that he's required to do. One high, one a little bit lower, and one very low and slow. This first inspection pass we can see is the high one. He's going up here and doing some turns to survey the whole area, which is very smart. The second one is a little bit lower, uh -huh, and the third one is a very slow and low pass. Trent doesn't like what he see, so he bugs out. This is exactly what you're supposed to do. He did the right thing. Unfortunately, Becky, sent the video to the FAA, and what did the FAA do? The FAA, they took away my pilot's license. They took away his pilot's license. They took away his pilot's license because Becky sent in some grainy video and said, this guy's buzzing my house, breaking the rules, being unsafe. I don't know exactly what she told him, but Becky's kind of off her rocker anyway. Uh, so Trent has lost his license, temporarily. Um, the thing that's happening on social media is a lot of people are really upset that the FAA is going after Trent, and there's a handful of other people that keep saying, we're only hearing one side of the story. Well, that's where I come in. Um, I live in Dallas, Texas, and the FAA headquarters is in Oklahoma City, which as the crow flies is about, I don't know, 15 hours. So crows aren't that fast, and they're also really just not, that's not a good measure of how to get somewhere. But the FAA building is in Oklahoma City, and based on what I've seen from social media aviation investigators, it wouldn't be completely insane for me to drive up to the FAA building in Oklahoma City and sneak in in the middle of the night and break in and grab the documentation relating to this case. Well, that's what I did. I went up to the FAA building, I snuck in, and right away I found a file folder that had Trent's name on it, and there was a couple of documents in it. <clears throat> the first document was a document that he referenced that's their off airport ops guide, which actually tells him to do exactly what he did. Um, it looked like it had been crumbled up and thrown in the trash and someone had pulled it back out. That's neither here nor there. I wanna show you something else I found that's interesting. It's around here somewhere. Underneath this booklet on the FAA head inspector's desk was another booklet I found and I just stole it. 
It's actually the FAA's hit list, YouTube edition. This is where they document what YouTubers that they've gone after and they're gonna go after. And this is scary, folks. There's a lot of people in here. And if you think this is fake, I can prove it's real. Look, on the first page, they got the guy that got jump sucked out with the, the, that guy. And then there's, there's a Red Bull. So either this page is sponsored, but I don't think it is. I think this is the, the Red Bull swap. And then, they go after, that's right, there's the, the Trent Palmer. They, they have this one right here, so they're gonna go after him. And the book has so many pages, you can actually see who they're gonna go after next. Baron Pilot, if I were you, I would watch out. Um, I think the best thing you could do is fly really, really high and make sure that you keep that door shut, secure, and locked, because if those doors come open, you know what happens. It, that's right, you're going out. The FAA is gonna rule. It was a manufacturing error in the door latch mechanism. I knew it all the time. So in conclusion, what do we know? First off, I think everything Trent's saying is accurate. I showed you the actual video of his inspection passes. I showed you the front cover of a book that I understand inside tells you you should do them. Uh, if you watch his channel, he seems on the up and up. He seems to be a good instructor. Um, I don't have any reason not to believe what he's saying. If you have a YouTube channel, you probably need to dot your I's and cross your T's. I'm gonna give you a couple tools that I think will help you because if Trent doesn't battle this or if he loses this, Every go around is going to end with an arrest. You're going to get a call to the FISDO. The cops are going to take you in. You're going to get an emergency revocation. You're not going to be able to fly anymore. And we can't have that. So the FAA does have that book talking about off airport ops, but they also have a book called the far aim. And in there's this thing called 91 three. So it says if you declare an emergency, you can pretty much do anything you want. It doesn't specify how you declare an emergency. It doesn't say an emergency has to be declared over the radio and heard by other people. You could be about to do your inspection past and just be like, oh, I'm having an emergency. I declare an emergency. In fact, on behalf of all pilots today, I'm declaring an emergency here forward for all of you. You can do anything you want. Everyone who's in trouble is now off the hook. This is a tool that's gonna make it your get out of jail free card. So here forward, the FAA doesn't have a case. I'm sure tomorrow they, on their YouTube channel, which by the way, the FAA does have a YouTube channel, like a very active YouTube channel. Um, I'm sure they'll have a video tomorrow saying, Brian figured it out, you got us. Uh, and so case closed and they're all just gonna lock up and go home. So uh, that's the tool that you guys can use. I don't have anything else. Um, I'm glad you guys come to me and think of me as the voice of reason for aviation in situations like this. Um, I proudly you know, carry that burden um, and I appreciate you guys uh, coming to me to get the real truth and both sides of the story. So I'm glad to be able to present that for you. And uh, Trent, I hope this ends well for you and for all aviators in YouTube and uh, the non-YouTube ones as well. Um, uh, that's, I didn't write anything past this. I'm ad-libbing and it's falling apart rapidly. So it's kind of not, I don't have, it's, it, we'll just, let's look at the FAA's YouTube channel. Click this link to see the most recent video upload. Click this link to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Click this link to subscribe to my channel.